हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम मिसेस गीता धुंदरवाड़ असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर ऑफ कम्युनिकेशन स्किल्स डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ ह्यूमैनिटीज एंड साइंसेस वालचंद इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी शोलापुर इन दिस सेशन टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट टॉपिक सॉफ्ट स्किल्स एंड इन दिस सॉफ्ट स्किल्स वी आर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट टीम बिल्डिंग एट द एंड ऑफ दिस सेशन स्टूडेंट विल बी एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ टीम बिल्डिंग इट इज सेड दैट कमिंग टूगेदर इज अ बिगिनिंग कीपिंग टूगेदर इज प्रोग्रेस एंड वर्किंग टूगेदर इज सक्सेस सो डेफिनेटली टू बिकम अ सक्सेसफुल यू शुड वर्क इन अ टीम सो लेट इज डिस्कस वॉट इज अ टीम टेक पॉज थिंक अबाउट द क्वेश्चन एंड ट्राई टू राइट the answer so team a team is a group of people who are mutually dependent on one another to achieve a common goal team means t stands for training e stands for encourage a stands for aim and m stands for motivation all of you know this proverb united we stand divided we fall so it is very important to build a team people in every workplace talk about building the team working as a team and my team but few understand how to create the experience of team work or how to develop an effective team belonging to a team in the broadest sense is a result of feeling part of something larger than yourself it has a lot to do with your understanding of the mission or objectives of your organization when a group works well together it achieves the best results employers therefore want to hire people with team building skills good team builders are able to help groups work together well and meet their goals so let us discuss why team building is important team building is important because it leads mind to creativity it encourages to take initiatives and display your creativity and innovations it provides space to individual growth it broaden one's vision we feel motivated to come out of the comfort zone and do things in the out of box manner it improves your networking socializing and team bonding it also gives a chance getting to know each other it also teaches the team self regulation strategies it motivate a team and getting everyone on the same page including goal setting so team building team building is the process of turning a group of individuals into a cohesive team a group of people organize to work together interdependently and cooperatively to meet the goals by ensuring self development positive communication leadership skills and ability to work closely as a team to solve problems team building is term for various types of activities used to enhance social relations and define roles within teams often involving collaborative tasks some c's are very important for team building so first one is clear expectation then commitment contribution collaboration communication 
and coordination so all these points we are going to discuss in detail so the first point is clear expectations executive leadership should clearly communicate its expectations for the team's performance and expected outcomes the work of the team should receive sufficient emphasis as a priority in terms of the time discussion attention and interest directed its way by executive leaders next is commitment commitment to the intent and ethics of a company provides a clear sense of focus once team members understand how their work fits into the company objectives and that their goals are achievable individuals are ready to put aside personal needs for the benefit of the team department or company once a shared purpose is agreed upon each team can develop goal posts and focus on continually improving time spent getting all team members on the same page will reduce the chances of disasters at a later stage contribution contribution is the ability of a successful team is directly related to the skills the team members own and the ingenuity the team members apply work teams need people who have good work ability and social skills and are willing to learn teams also need leaders who will take responsibility for getting things done next point is collaboration employers believe that highly collaborative teams will achieve greater productivity higher moral less counter productive conflict and better customer relations so understand group and team process understand the roles and responsibilities of team members the team should use an appropriate strategy to accomplish its action plan next point is communication if you are helping to unite a team you need to have strong communication skills using both written and verbal communication skills you will have to explain company goals delegate tasks resolve conflicts between members and more it is important that you are able to clearly express ideas in ways that others can understand coordination and cooperation teams are coordinated by a central leadership team that assists the groups to obtain what they need for success priorities and resource allocation been planned across departments cooperation most tasks in the workplace require much more than one person doing it all success in a company depends upon a degree of interdependence within the team team leaders can encourage cooperation by stressing the influence of individual members on team productivity let us discuss some of the key factors of team building so key factors to successful performance the first is strategy second one is clear roles and responsibilities next is open communication and the last one is 
effective leadership so first point strategy it includes clarity in understanding the responsibilities major individuals reason and share purpose values and ground rules next point is clear roles and responsibilities clear definition of roles and responsibilities shared by all you will need to understand the concerns of every members so that they each feel that they are being considered and appreciated next one is open communication respect for individual differences and open communication environment among team members is very necessary communication plays a large role in enabling work group to reach its full capacity team members must be able to say what they think ask for help and share new ideas this can only happen in an environment where team members trust one another and focus on solution and not problems the last point is effective leadership effective leader can draw out skills of the team and help them to achieve objective or goals and the best example is the movie chak de india and it has given a good message never doubt that a small group of thoughtful committed people can change the world these are some of the links whatever i have used for making my ppt go through all these references thank you